Hey YouTube, it's your boy Cameron, back at it again with a Black Ops 4 Zombies Map Review and the last of this series. And in today's video, man, we're reviewing Classified, which is technically, technically a base map. You have to pay like $10 to get it, but this is the first time I've tried it. And guys, this map is actually pretty good, but you can't really fuck it up because it is a remaster, okay? I personally think 5 is better. One, because it's original, and Nicolai two, because it's not as dark. And I, I like always, we're going to discuss the atmosphere of the map first. The atmosphere of the map is very similar Golden to rod, 5. Obviously, stone. it is the same, it, but the Pentagon is in a much more decrepit state. Like, it's destroyed. Totally destroyed. The this okay, there's well. blood everywhere. There's ripped apart shit everywhere. The whole place is trashed. Okay, because I think it's like takes place a little bit after, uh, you know, the president and everybody held it down in five and got overwhelmed by zombies. But it's a pretty cool map nonetheless. It looks pretty cool. It's a lot more scary than five because five was very dark and very pristine. While classified just looks like a fucking Project X Rager was thrown in that bitch. But this map looks pretty good. But my one problem with it is it's very dark. I sometimes find myself not being able to see, okay? It's very, very dim, it's hard to see, and I guess they're going for the whole decrepit state, and it's just too hard to see for me sometimes. And you finally, you go to Area 51, to pack a punch, just like in Moon. You have to go the, back down to Area 51 to pack a punch, it's in the same place, in that little cage. They have the teleporter, they have all that cool stuff in the Moon, in the part of the... In the area 51 area it's cool you know it looks the same it's pretty hard to train there but i like uh, being able to go there i remember back in the day like enderese dlc 5 was always rumored that we'd be going to area 51 because like a little radio said the nevada base so i always thought we would go to area 51 and i think i think it would be cool to actually have a zombie map in area 51 not just the hangar i wish we would actually have the whole thing in general, I think that'd be really badass. But nonetheless, we have this little corridor. It's cool, you know. I prefer the old way of pack a punching more. Now we're moving on to the second part of so the pack a punch process. You have to pick up three parts. One is in the beginning, second one is in the laboratory, and the third one is in the president's room where the old pack a punch used to be. And it's pretty easy to get pack a punch. It's not too hard. Yeah, you have to look it up, so it kind of. You know, kind of difficult, but once you More find all the parts, you just go back up there and build it, and then there you go. Go to DEFCON 5, there you go. It's very easy, not too hard, and getting, but teleporting to Groom Lake is kind of annoying. I would like it better if it was just in the map. I think it would be much easier if they just scrapped the, the uh, parts and did it the OG way. But I know it's a reimagining, they added like three rooms. And that's it. They do that with every single reimagining for the Ether story, like Nuke Town and Mob of the Dead. They added a little bit more, like, Kanaz to it. But it's okay. Doesn't be add much, especially in this map. This map is very easy to play, just like most of the Ether maps, except for Blood of the Dead. I hate Blood of the Dead, I have a big disdain for it. I fucking hate it. I despise this map. I despise Blood of the Dead. But this map is very easy to play. It's pretty easy. Um, if you train and you get the Wonder Weapon, which I'm gonna talk about right after this, it's insanely easy. You can't die. You just die because you're poor. You're like, alright, fuck it. I'm invincible, I'm not gonna die. And the Wonder Weapon is the Winter's Howl, which got buffed. I'm glad it got buffed because I always liked it because I like ice and shit. I think that shit is dope, you know? Like Sub Zero is dope as fuck in Mortal Kombat. I like ice, man. I think you got ice powers. That would be pretty badass. Some Elsa action. Alright, so you got some Elsa action coming out of your gun. It's pretty cool. And they buffed it so it kills zombies. And it's actually really fucking powerful. The Winter's Howl, and honestly, is probably my favorite wonder weapon in this game. It's so powerful. It's crazy. You can just kill zombies easily. You just get a whole lump of them. You're stuck in a corner. Boom, boom, boom. You're done. You killed the whole fucking round. The zomb this thing is overpowered. I love it. This thing is so cool. But... They have the ray gun, the, you know, the winter howl is definitely, definitely adds some cool points. 
I do really enjoy this map. I think it is very easy to get on and play, just like Alpha Omega, which makes you know me excited to play it, so I don't have to fucking play Prop Hunt, find out you know the verdict to the OJ case, find out Bigfoot's lost footprint, find out uh who fucking who framed Roger Rabbit. I don't have to find out all that shit just to get Pack a Punch. Okay, I can just get on and play. That's it. Okay, a lot of ma uh, Black Ops 4 maps, which I've always said, are detrimental to the map. It's the Pack-a-Punch process. Blood of the Dead. Annoying ass Pack-a-Punch process. Probably the most annoying Pack-a-Punch process in any zombie map ever in my opinion. I fucking hate it. Not only did I fail at it like 20 times and go down like 50 times, I hate that map. It's awful. Blood of the Dead is probably the worst zombie map ever made. I fucking hate it more than Transit. I fucking hate it more than, um, uh, what other map? Fucking Die Rise. I hate Blood of the Dead. I despise Blood of the Dead. It is the worst zombie map ever. At least Transit is fucking original, okay? And Town is pretty fun. I fuck with Tra I fuck with Town. But I hate Blood of the Dead. The map sucks dick, okay? Dead of the Night is fucking annoying to pack a punch. You have to find all this shit. But I do like the map aesthetically. Um, nine is easy to pack a punch. Voyage of Despair is fucking annoying to pack a punch because you have to swim around like some Michael Phelps to get some shit. Alpha Omega is easy to pack a punch. This map is very easy to pack a punch. It's just easy to pack a punch in this map, which I like. It makes it easy to play. It makes it easy to set up. It's fun. Classic zombies, you know, you just pack a punch. There you go. The one thing I hate is the perk system. Black Ops 4 has the worst perk system ever. The perk system is fucking awful. And in Black Ops 5, I hope they revert the perk system. Okay, that's the one thing that... And the HUD. The HUD is horrible. But that's it, okay? That's all they need to do in this game of zombies mode would be great. Get rid of the shit perks. You know what my problem is with the perks? Almost all of them are useless. Almost all of them are useless, okay? Uh, time slip. That one sucks dick. There's no point of even using it because whenever you use it, you just never and you just die and you don't get to use your fucking elixir. All the elixirs are fucking horrible. Unlike the gobble gum. The gobble gum was very useful. The elixirs are awful. All of them suck. There's not a single one that's decent. I'm sorry. All the elixirs suck, and they take so long to charge up, where they're pointless. You use. I think you can use like one every 10 rounds. And then it's like, what the fuck? It's awful, okay? All this stuff, changes they made are fucking horrible. But what do you guys think about Classified? I just went on a little rant there. I enjoy it. It's a pretty good map. Thank you all for watching. And subscribe if you enjoyed. This your boy Cameron. I am out.